Hi there, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a digital scale that is actually in the form of the spoon. So the scale is inside embedded in the spoon itself. Okay, so this is the Innovative Kitchen Accessories Digital Scale Spoon. And the uh, box is very basic as you can see the pictures on it is very cheap. It's a China product, it's uh, up to 500 grams and it says it has digital spoon scale with LCD display, powerful battery operation with low energy consumption, ideal tool to weigh butter, flour, cream, tea and spices during cooking or baking, balance adjusted so yeah you can zero it by pressing the button. That's about it, that's what the box gives you. Let's go ahead and get inside this thing and see what's in here go set that aside for the moment and here is the information off eBay it is a 998 free shipping and this one I did get from let's see and uh, here is the information on this side just in case so yeah 998 free shipping I got this delivered here and the reasoning for this is that I wanted to have something portable to actually use at work or whatever if I'm gonna do some coffee over there and I thought about getting this like a spoon that you could measure things with it would be smaller than the scale and obviously um, but actually the scale is uh, I would say smaller and easier to carry than the spoon um, either way we got the spoon here there's a basic instruction leaflet here it's in English and it gives you the information of what the buttons do and what you can do with it Fairly simple stuff for a scale, so I'm going to put this aside for the moment, get this out of here. And there we go, we got the little number there is moving when you move the spoon around. You have to actually leave it in place and press that again to zero it. Now, huh, it's not staying in zero if you move it around. Okay, now it's staying in zero. So the way of the cup here, the spoon actually moves it around if you move it. That's pretty crappy for something like this. Um, it's not going to be the most perfect tool to have, but it's also something good to have laying around. Let's say that this, I forgot to take the batteries out of this, like I mentioned in the video, I did and I damaged it. I still can have this one laying around, obviously, take off the battery if you're going to store it. So, if you put it upright, it gives you different measurements, if you put it to the side as well. Yeah, the main thing is you have to keep it still. If you keep it still and level, it goes back to zero. So. That's pretty good to know. If you move it about, it actually moves about. The numbers move about. So keep it still, keep it steady, and you're back to zero. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this one is compare it to my other digital scale here. Try it out. We're gonna measure one of these espresso cups pods so we're gonna get this turned on that is at zero grams we're gonna put the pod in the middle and that is 8.1 so now we're gonna take the spoon here put the pod in the middle and that is 8.1 so it is accurate enough there you go back to it as long as you leave it steady that's good enough. So you can actually take whatever you're going to measure with this, leave it on the spoon, put it steady, and wait for it. Pretty cool. Um, I was thinking it would be smaller, but still, it's not huge, and you can still have this in your kitchen. Not that I can take this in the backpack, because unless I have it in the box, this seems to be very flimsy here. Plastic feels very cheap. This chrome will actually most likely peel off in two days of use. But anyways, as I tested right now, it's fairly accurate, it works, and that's what's important. 8.1 again, should be still, it's giving me 8.2 now. Uh, if you tilt it even slightly, it gives you another number. Can I put it on the table and just have the table be the measuring cup there? Okay, so now it gives me 8.3. It's at zero. Eight point two, eight point three. Eight point two over here again. I 
did I move the coffee inside? How can it change even if I move the coffee inside? Of it? Come on. 8.2. 8.2. So they're giving me the same number. They just changed because I seem to have shifted the coffee inside the cup here. But that's it. That's what I wanted to do. Try it out. See if it works. See if it's accurate or not. Obviously, I have to come back with a video if this thing is working later on because right now it works out of the box. It could have been that it doesn't work as with some Chinese products that you buy. Uh, but it does work. So if you leave this press and turn it off, there we go. So yeah, uh, how reliable it is is going to be the real point because it is accurate. That's cool. Now let's see if it's reliable or not because this here, that seems very, very flimsy. And when I first got this in the box, this part, this cover, chrome cover, was off. I had to put it back in place and clip it down here and put it where it belongs and now it's there. But it was off the little spoon here. I put the battery in it and that's it. I could start using it pretty well as you can see. It's accurate enough for me to use coffee and stuff like that. So if you're looking for something like this, you want to get a spool that's a scale, um, it does work, it's not, uh, it does actually work, it's not expensive, if you have like a chrome and black finish in your kitchen, this could be a way to go, and if you don't want to have like a digital scale, you can have a spool alternative. There you have it, that's about it for this video, thank you for watching, until the next video.